Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. As you can see, we are in New Donk City, but why? Well, you may know that it's been one year since Super Mario Odyssey released. I know I'm a little late to the party. <laughs> Back on October 27th of 2017, Super Mario Odyssey released to the world, and it has been one heck of a fun game, and they added a tiny little update I wanted to showcase to celebrate that fact. Hello, Pauline. Um, I'll be sure not to lose this one. That's good. We need to go to the New Donk City Hall and replay through the musical event, which I think we can do by talking to this guy. And it's not anything super crazy. Hey, hey, you've got 8-bit music there. Let's wrap up our festival with some special music. Oh, we can do the 8-bit version. I don't know if we've ever done that, so let's make this a double whammy. We'll be able to do the 8-bit version of this as well, but a traditional festival. Cool. With this, I have definitely never seen this. Oh, this is super cool. I like the 8-bit music for sure, but I want to just get all the way to the end of it, and then there should be 39 different pixel toads and pixel Luigi's to find. Uh, just like, you know, the Pixel Toes and the Pixel Luigi's we find for the hidden arts. It's basically just that. So we're just gonna get to the very end of this and find all those. It might make for a short episode, but I wanted to check this out for the 60th episode of the series because that's a lot of episodes. I feel like it's pretty fun to celebrate that way. But yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. Oh, uh, this is so cool. I've never checked out this 8-bit music version. So this is a lot of fun. Let me know if you've ever seen this before. Because honestly, I didn't know this was a thing. Always fun to explore new stuff, I guess. I like seeing the old retro Pauline in the background and all the Donkey Kong stuff, of course. It's very cool. Oh gosh, I'm already getting hit. <laughs> I might be a little rusty, to be honest with you. I'm, ap I'm gonna apologize now. But we'll just do what we can, platforming around, having a good time. Maybe one of those will have a heart up there. Let me, ow, get hit first, apparently. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And jump, good. I need to be careful. None of these have a heart. That's a little concerning. Okay, keep going this way. Just gotta dodge barrels a little bit better this time. And maybe one of these question blocks. There we go, a heart. Give that to me. Very nice. And I appreciate all these extra coins. Uh, apparently we can get a lot of coins by getting all the Pixel Luigi's and Toads, so that'll be good. Okay, watch out for that barrel. Jump. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad that we've been able to play Super Mario Odyssey and check out all the costumes and 100% complete the game in the first year that it's been out. It's been a lot of fun. I think that even a year after it being released, you know, it still has sort of a big effect on everything. I think we actually missed some stuff, didn't we? There's usually a hidden little moon. I guess it doesn't really matter too much. But, isn't there a hidden moon up here? Yeah, there is, isn't there? I remember this now. Yep, okay, I just wanna check this out. <laughs> just trying to sort of extend this for as long as possible because it's, I just, I really miss this level. This is a lot of fun. There we go, got some of that and some of this too, and maybe we could find a second heart around here. Well, I mean, we got this, the moon, and that'll get me back up to full health, so that's good. Grab all of that. Excellent. But yeah, it's it's been such a great game. Like, it's still, its influence is still heavily there. Lots of people still play and talk about this game. A lot of people still watch with this series even a year after. So thank you for supporting it, I appreciate it. And there's been a lot of rumors going around. I know that Nintendo recently had their like yearly conference for like investors and stuff, and they talked about the fact that they're gonna be focusing a little more on DLC, which we can only hope means that we'll start seeing some Mario Odyssey DLC, and that's something a lot of people have been asking for. I mean, I know we already technically have seen DLC in the form of the costumes and the Luigi's Balloon War, but I think a lot of people are hoping for a full DLC kingdom or DLC adventure, something of that kind. I think that would be cool as well. A lot of people, the fan favorite seems to be either Luigi's Mansion to explore or a Delfino Plaza. Both of which sound like a great idea to me. I'm trying to get all the coins out of this. I don't know if it's gonna work out very well. I think I might just have to leave it at that and get up here, collect all the Donkey Kong shaped coin clusters. All right, we're almost there. Almost got Donkey Kong taken care of. Okay, ow, that hurt. That's fine, okay, because I got another heart right there. Okay, dodge all these barrels. Got it, good job. Boing, bop, boop. There, got him. Okay, well that was awesome. Let's go through the pipe and we are good to go. So this is where things get interesting. Apparently around here, if I just butt slam around, I should be finding, there we go, there's, there's a Luigi, Luigi. And I'm just supposed to do that a bunch. And that's just it. It's a, we were able to find, whoa, 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 I'm hopping on your head, sorry. Don't mean to be ruining your concert. There we go. Apparently there are 39 different Luigis and Toads to find. Now you might be asking, 
why 39 of them? From what I've been able to read, it's because apparently 39, when pronounced in Japanese, like the, you know, the Japanese wording for 39, is apparently phonetically, it sort of sounds like thank you. So that's interesting. I don't know how true that actually is, because I'll be honest, I don't speak Japanese, but you know, that still sounds pretty cool. Is this all of them? It might be. It looks like it to me. So all of them over here, maybe they go down this way. I'm just gonna be doing a lot of butt slams. And I haven't been keeping count, so I'll have to do that afterwards, but. I think that we're doing a pretty good job with getting them all so far. There's quite a lot of them. And it's also quite a nice way to earn up some coins, too, if you really just need to get up to, because we started this episode with, like, around 3,300 coins. So we've gotten over 3,000 coins now. So pretty quick way to do it. I mean, we're under 10 minutes in today's episode. Hi there, so I think I can talk to you to end the level, so I'm not gonna do that just yet. Instead, I'm gonna find more. Can I move the camera over here? Thank you. <laughs> more stuff like this. And it was cool to be able to check out the the retro music version of this, because I'm pretty sure we've never done this before. Maybe we have, and I'm just super forgetful. I mean, I know I'm super forgetful. Which is why I'm not too surprised if that's the case. There's a lot of stage back here, so I'm guessing we're gonna find a couple of them, right? Or not. Uh. I, I hear all these coins. We're actually about to hit 99, 99 coins, like the maximum on the coins. Okay, maybe over here? There we go. Maybe. I'm actually not doing very good at finding them. I thought there'd be more. There's one. Okay, I need the camera to move. There we go. Definitely gonna be some over this way. Got it. Got it. Okay, very nice. Not bad. Okay, so is that all of them? Maybe, okay, there's one over this way. But there's none back here. Oddly open area. I think there's gonna be one more right here. No, okay. So how many do we have then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh gosh, camera. Uh, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think I'm not miscounting. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So I am missing a couple, unless I miscounted, which I may have. Uh, but they're not like, oh, here's one. Okay, so they are over this way. At least a couple more. This is the camera being all over the place doesn't help me. I don't know if there's any, oh, maybe there's some up here. Not quite. Okay, this is, this is very weird. <laughs> I like it, but it still can be very weird. Okay, th so there should be two over this way. I mean, maybe there is. Okay, there sort of is. Why is there only one here? That seems odd. I'm just gonna butt slam around a little bit. But I mean, I think I, oh wait, there's another one. So let's try slightly to the left over here. There we go, there's a couple more. Okay, that must be like nearly all of them. Well, actually, well then there should be, yep, another one there and that down there. Okay, so let me count these all up again to make sure I got them all. Okay, so I just counted it, unless I miscounted, I think we have all 39 of them. So that is pretty cool. Oh, can we even just, we can get up here too. I've never really explored this as much as I should, I suppose. How high can we go up? I think there's like a wall. It seems like it to me. <laughs> okay, oh, maybe we're hitting the New Donk City sign. That is hilariously ridiculous. Anyways, that was a lot of fun. I spent 10 minutes duping around with that. We got the 8-bit the version of the New Donk City Festival. Did you enjoy that trip down memory, Gerder? Ready to return to the auditorium? Let's go, or let's stay. Gotcha, let's head back. That was a lot of fun, and it got us over 6,000 coins. We're back up to having max coins now, which is awesome. So definitely, if you need some quick coins, that is most assuredly a good way to get it. So had a lot of fun with that. But yeah, let me know your favorite memories with Super Mario Odyssey you've had without the, with the, throughout the, the past year. And hopefully this second year Mario Odyssey will be just as awesome. Hopefully we see more costumes like we've been showcasing as of recently, the zombie Mario costume and all the brutal costumes, all that kind of stuff. Be sure you check out those episodes and any upcoming episodes, either we check out new costumes, new hint art, or hopefully at some point, new DLC kingdoms. I'm sure it'll all be great. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Super Mario Odyssey. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Anniversary so you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tasty Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. By the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.